Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me or decorate with me, whatever you want to call it, in my big happy planner. So if you are interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. <music> Okay, so in this big happy planner, I am going to be using it for my business planner. So this one will be a stationary planner that does stay at home on my desk and will literally just be tracking my Etsy shop. Um, I like that with Etsy, you can see all the reports and everything, but I would prefer to have them written in some cases just for better tracking purposes and you know to make sure that i'm getting everything finished that needs to be finished so for this planner i purchased this rose gold cover from the happy planner super pretty to me i have these beautiful rose gold metal discs on the side and then i actually purchased the farmhouse um book just because I like the neutral and farmhouse has always been like one of my favorite sticker books. Um, so I purchased the farmhouse book and then I'll just do, here's my little business planner sheet. And honestly, I don't remember where I got the, this printable from. I did just print it on vellum. Um, I have no clue where I got it from. So I apologize for that. Um, and so this is actually a memory keeping book. So, you know, the memory keeping books are designed a little bit differently than the regular happy planners. But for what I need it for, I really removed all the guts. So as you can see, I have like my annual overview sheet here um, that I will fill in every month. And I'm going to see if I can figure out where I got these printables and then link them in the description box below. Again, I apologize. I should have figured that out beforehand, but I forgot. Um, and so then I have my monthlies. So here's January. And then I just put in the monthly page. This is this was undated, so I went ahead and added the dates already. And then in here, I have um, my... I took one week and left that one week in there. And then the other sheets are just my printables of things I'd like to do and my goals for the month. And so that'll literally be what the planner is. So you have your divider, your monthly, and then the monthly planner, the new product planner, and then the sales tracker. So that'll literally be it. And then, like I said, there's one full week. So I didn't want to keep all the other pages in there because I just really didn't need them. So if you are deciding to do something like this, you have to really just decide what it is that you want to track and what's going to be, um, you know, important for you. Again, I think this book is absolutely beautiful. Some of these I feel like I can probably still use. Um, I don't typically use that page in my planner the currently page or whatever it's called, but I think this one I might be able to actually use. So here's July. I just love, I just love this plan. I think it's so beautiful. And I wanted something big so that I didn't have to like minimize my writing size because I do tend to write a little bit bigger. And I just didn't want it to be, since I'm not taking it with me, I felt like it didn't need to be small. And this way, when I'm printing off invoices and things, if I want to, I can stick them in here as well um, because they're just a full sheet. So I don't have to worry about trying to cut things down and all of that stuff. And there's December. And then back here, this extra tab, I literally just put like my coupons and discounts. There's some more sales trackers in here. Um, here is a mileage tracker form. And I might get some top tabs for these just to kind of separate them out. Purchase tracker, advertising, product inventory. And I 
just printed off a few of those. So one of the things I do regret, but by the time I thought about it, it was already done, is I had already printed everything on like a basic paper. And I'm really sad about that because I should have, you know, chosen a nicer paper, but such is life. So anyway, now that you've seen that quick little flip through <laughs> um, and um, we're back at January. And so for this, I'm going to be using this is your year to shine. And then I will also be using this wrong, wrong sticker book, the accessories book. So anyway, I'm going to finally stop talking and get started planning. All right, so here we go. Um, I really like how this turned out. I wanted to keep it pretty minimal because obviously this is a more functional planner and less of a decorative one, but you know, us planner girls gots to have our stickers. So um, I really like how it turned out. I'm super excited to put this to use. I can't believe it's already next week. We will be in January. Well, really, by the end of this week, we'll be in January. Um, so it's so exciting. So anyway, um, this is, again, the business planner. I will be doing um, more flip throughs of my other planners just so you can see my entire planner lineup. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, 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 and check out the description boxes below. I have quite a few links for different shops, including my own, that you can receive discounts for. And I also have um, some different links for some different affiliate links for items that I use in my planners so that if you are interested in purchasing some of those things, you are able to do so. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.